all the days of our lives and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Make sure you don't forget to call the man at the gas plant to come to the gas, okay? Okay, uh, call him. Okay, yeah, I'm going now, so I will let the man at the gas plant come to the gas plant. Okay, let's go. And you go and come back next morning, okay? Yeah. 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 Bye. 23 years ago, a child was adopted by a family that was in serious need for fruit of the womb. Her name is Nene. Take it easy so you don't break the plates. be the beginning of my dream come true. Right. You see, I have a goal that after the first four years of practicing pharmacy, I will raise up a foundation that will kick up a nationwide campaign to help raise education funds to help children on the street who are either abandoned or subjected to child abuse. I also help those from financially marginalized family. You see, I believe that sound and compulsory education should be civil rewarded to every male and female children whose parents or guardians income is not able to sustain their education. Yeah? I will call that foundation hope for children living on a penny. Bravo. Um, I'm not disputing your dreams and aspirations, but the lady I'm seeing here has not paid her final year tuition fee. And I'm aware that daddy has not paid. I know what it means. You're spending extra 12 months in the University of Memphis. Daddy will pay. He will pay. Well, until daddy pays, then I can see your dreams coming true. after his youth service program. Okay. And uh, I would equally like him to get acquainted with my uncle's wife's younger sister by name Rita. Rita is a graduate of accountancy and she's working in Lagos with one big accounting firm in Lagos, O and R accounting firm. You see this is my problem with you women. You like taking your husbands for granted. And I, I don't know why. You make up your minds on a particular issue and then you find a very mild way of telling your husbands to know what they will say. That's insulting. Now that you have made up your mind on this particular issue and you are telling me, what do you expect for me to disagree with you? What's the problem? It's not what you think, baby. I mean, well, please. And I will be visiting my uncle, Uncle Ray, this weekend. I would like Alice to go with me. And this Rita you're talking about will be there, I suppose? Yes. You, you see what I'm saying? 
exactly my point. You have already made up your mind on this particular issue. You are just telling me to fulfill all righteousness. Let me tell you something, my dear. I don't know this Rita, and I wouldn't want her to impose herself on my son by seducing him. Because I won't take it. Take the young man there. But please, allow him to make up his own mind himself. Please. Good morning, Daddy. Yeah, good morning, my dear. How was your night? I just fine, Daddy. Thank you. So, what are you up to? Um. Daddy, I'm about to boil water so I can make tea for us. Make tea for breakfast? Yes, Daddy. Haven't you heard the saying, variety is the spice of life? Yes, I have. You have? And every other morning you serve tea for breakfast. Can't you think something else? Um, you've, you've never complained, so I... I I just thought I've never thought of um, change. For real? So, when you visit your boyfriend in his house and you spend the night there, in the morning, do you always wait for him to complain on everything before you take correction? Why are you moping at me as if I've asked the abominable? Or are you trying to claim you don't have a boyfriend or something? Daddy, I don't, I don't understand where all these questions are coming from. I need you to give me specific answer, my dear Nene. You don't have a boyfriend? Daddy, please, can I just finish what I'm doing?
my beautiful guy. <laughs> Thank you, Daddy. Oh, Daddy, 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 your mom's in fresh on my book floor. Is there any problem with that, my dear? You know, my dear, I have been asking God for this opportunity to tell you how I love you. Huh? Yeah. And uh, remember we are alone in this house now? And this has provided me the opportunity to tell you how I love you. Daddy. And how much I, I cherish you. Daddy, stop. Stop it, Daddy. Yes, I love you, but as my daddy, you shouldn't be saying this to me. Why? What, what forbid I have an affair with you, daddy? You know, my dear, it is so clear you don't know so much about God. He is a forgiving God. And he is not going to have any problem forgiving you if you allow me to do something. You know, because you are really not do it, my dear. Oh, please, daddy! You, you know what? You know what? Just give me a glass of cold water, please. There. It's me. Daddy? Yes, I'm the one. I came in here this night to ask you some very specific questions and I will appreciate it if you give me specific answers. Have I not been wonderful to you as a father in this family? Yes, you have. Have I not been making huge sacrifices for you as a daughter? Yes, you have. And. Have I not been showing you so much love and so much care in this family? Have I not? Daddy, you have. Why all these questions? Because I am doing everything humanly possible to understand why you are finding it difficult to give me this small pleasure that I demand of you. At least to show appreciation for what I have been doing for you. Daddy, I can't do it. No, of course you can. <laughs> Definitely. Daddy, I can't. Daddy, 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 no! Stop it! Why are you behaving like a child? I'll call mommy if you don't stop! Daddy! I am not your daddy. <laughs> You've seen a career. I'm yes. telling you. How is everything? My dear, fine. Great. Well, you know they usually say that the night has taken the color, but not in this case. You're not visitor. You can go inside and eat something. <laughs> There's no problem. 
uh, uh, before I ask, what about Victor? Uh, Victor is fine. Mm. He sends his greetings. Praise God. Uh, Nene, she's doing well? Nene is good too. She's a big girl too. Very big. Okay. Very big. <laughs> and um, I decided to tell her to stay back so she'll be able to take care of my husband. Ah, okay. Mm. Very, very well. I'm sure that one day you're going to tell me that Nene is coming to marry. Who would want to have grandchildren? In law. I'll tell you. There's, there's no problem. Okay. You have to go in. Right now. Uh, I'll go in and sleep now. Yeah, go and rest. You, you go and rest. Okay. Uh, Mommy. My dear. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Yeah. Okay. Let me discuss with your uncle, okay? Yes, mommy. All right. Alex is a big boy. Don't mind him. <laughs> I thank God. It's the Lord's doing. Let's not waste time. Have you talked to Rita? You trust me. I already spoke to her. I spoke to my wife. My wife spoke to her. And what was her reaction? Positive, of course. <laughs> Oh, thank God. <laughs> thank God. You know that Alex is still a small boy. But not minding the fact that he's still a small boy. Uh, I want him to get married, especially to that Rita. Hmm? It is already done. Thank God. <laughs> and tomorrow, I want you to talk to him. As I know. You understand? Talk him into knowing that it is very important for this union to hold. Uh, that is not a problem. I know it's my responsibility. I'm the man of the house. <laughs> and the big uncle. <laughs> uh, that should not be a problem. Uh, he respects and listens to me. That's why I so, said I must come and stay with you. Uh, <laughs> it's okay, no problem. Thank you. listening to me. Can you please open the door? There is something important I want us to discuss. Are you angry or what? Are you still burning on the account of nothing? That little, that little thing last night? It's nothing, my dear. Open the door. What's the matter with you? You must still keep me waiting. What's the problem with you? Can you just open this door, please? We can sort out whatever it is. I've seen you smoking before. You're asking me that nonsense? I thought you were remain in your room. Why are you suddenly out? I was knocking on your door and you decided to keep quiet. Now you are here asking me nonsense. Do you know how much I pay as your fees abroad where you are attending your tertiary education? 
not see this. Twelve thousand dollars, which amounts to three million eight hundred thousand naira that I pay for one ingrate that I don't even know her background. So when I'm just helping. And now I just made a small request from the same person I have been laboring over the years to raise. And she blatantly refused to agree. You know, I am smoking because I am excited. Excited in the sense that the money I borrowed to pay for your school fees is still intact with me. And sincerely, I am not going to pay. As you have decided not to give me what I want, I am not going to pay. And you are going to remain a half-educated woman. And half-education, they say, is very dangerous. Are you going to give me what I've been asking of you? You are still locking up. You are still locking up. You know what? My wife will soon come back and we're going to place you where you belong. Now, if you don't mind, get out of my side. Please. Leave before I set you at least. And I mean every one of it. You are an ingrate. And as you leave, I want you to ponder over my request. Your education is very important. And I am not ready to invest one cobble on you any further, unless you give me that which I want. Uh, Alex. Yes, Uncle. Uh, I called you so that we can talk man to man. Uh, what I'm about to tell you now is something that even when you get to your father will tell you. If my father were alive, he would have also told you. <laughs> uh, Alex, you are now a man. And there are certain responsibilities that we expect from a man once he has grown into a man. All these beards are not for decoration. <laughs> All these muscles, they are not for decoration. Yes, I'm good. Uh, I know you know what I'm talking about. When a man grows up, he should take up the responsibility of marriage. Uh, but uncle, I'm still growing now. I'm not yet a man. <laughs> I knew you were going to say that. Uh, there is a stage. Uh, you have reached that stage. What is left now? You have gone to school. You are serving your nation. In a small time now, the next thing you'll be looking for is wife. Who want to save you that trouble of going around looking for women. Uh, it is time for you to take one. Ah, but Uncle, I'm, <laughs> right now I don't have any girlfriend though. <laughs> Alex, let me ask you a question. Uh, I know you like my wife because you call her Auntie Lovey Lovey. Yes, no, Auntie Lovey Lovey. <laughs> <laughs> yes, of course. And you know that uh, if you look at me, you will not know that I am already 65. Ah, true. And I'm looking 45. <laughs> <laughs> Until Lovey Lovey is the reason. And then you cannot be inside water and soap will be entering your eyes. I quite understand. Okay, good. Whatever comes from Until Lovey Lovey that you like, you will like it. Too. Of course. <laughs> uh, you know, Rita. Yes, yes. That's my wife's sister. 
Ah. When she grows up, she will be like Auntie Love Love or maybe even more. Uncle Ram, I, I, <laughs> I don't know where you're heading to. Alex, uh, I just want to orient your mind towards the fact that uh, you are already inside water. Use the water to wash off the soap from your eyes. Uh, yes. You don't have to worry. We've already spoken with Rita. Yes. Who will see a good-looking boy like you from the stock of my sister? And then will not like to have a relationship with him. Uncle, but I'm still young to get married. Oh. <laughs> Alex, we are not talking about young, 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 young. If any woman meets with you inside this room, and I lock you here, I know the next thing, the next nine months I'll hear is two. <laughs> you are doing like, if they put butter in your mouth, it will not melt. Alex, do it now. Or somebody else will do it. Uncle, well, you know, marriage is a thing of love. Mm -hmm. And love grows, and... I have not met her, we are not in any relationship, yeah. so we still need to meet one another, then we build up our relationship, yeah. if we love ourselves then, then we know. Uh, I understand all the English you have spoken, I will make the arrangement for you to meet, yes. I know, be rest assured that once you meet, it's only if yours for the asking. It's really as for the asking. Don't worry about that. You know, like I told you, I will not see something that is bad and I allow you to put your leg in it. Neither will I see something that is good and I allow you to walk past it. No. Alex, marriage made easy. <laughs> I'll make the arrangement so that you can satisfy your curiosity. But don't let the curiosity kill the cat. <laughs> Alex, Alex. But their phone is not for decoration. <laughs> well, Rita, I noticed the way you were guessing on me last night. Hmm. Stop that. You're the one who lost your attention on me, okay? Me? Lost my attention on you? Yes. No, I wasn't. You were. Well, if you say so, let me just become the gentleman. You look beautiful Thank and you. gorgeous. Thank you. Well, Rita, you know, sitting room is not the best place to discuss this kind of thing. Can we get to the back, Connie? Thanks, you. Yes, come.
Sí. So you want to sleep with your daughter? Is that what you really want? I really want to know how you truly feel. I feel like an animal. I feel like a beast. A beast doesn't know sin. If I accept this, you know it will keep happening. And if I were caught by your wife, are you afraid it will cause problem for you? That's my girl. Oh, that's my girl. I like what I'm seeing. You know, I like what you are wearing because it is very clear to me that you have decided to give it to me and make it easier for me. You know, I don't even know why you are doing this. Because I am the one that pays your fees. And I am willing to pay the fees, but I am not going to pay until you give me what I want. The saying that has become popular all over the world is that people must have to use what they have to get what they want. I don't want you to disappoint me by giving me the impression that I have a daughter who cannot follow the popular trend by using what she has to get what she wants. I, I want you to understand that education is key in life. Give me this important thing that I ask of you and be sure that your future is guaranteed. <laughs> Come. Daddy. I have known you as my daddy. From childhood, I bear your name. I know my aspiration in life depends on my education, but not to the detriment of my own mother. What? and comfort, I will never succumb to you. I will never fall for your bleeding. You know, baby, my dear, I, I may have to stand up to explain this in a mild way for you to understand what I am saying, my dear. You are mine. And that which is mine, is mine. Your mother, you are an ingrate, a 
an idiot. Get out. <laughs> are you still watching? You're watching. Do the tree. Get out. Get out. Get out of my house. Get out. I'm here to go. Mommy. Mommy. If you touch me. If you touch me. Leave me. Leave me. I was just calling to find out if you people arrived safely. Yes, sweetheart. Uncle, it's today that I confirmed the full meaning of that adage that says that every disappointment is a blessing. Rosie, I don't understand. You will not understand, Uncle. If not because of the disappointment your wife gave us that prompted me to come back behind schedule, I wouldn't have seen the horrible in my house. The, uh, uh, Rosie, can you just please be straight? What is happening? Uncle, it's not something I will tell you on phone. We will see one on one. But just tell your wife that I am grateful for that disappointment. That I thank her so much. Extend my greetings to her. I will call you back. Uh, Rosie? 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 What could be happening? I don't know how else you want me to explain this before you understand it. Please. You are my wife. And you owe it as a duty to listen to me. We are not just in a relationship. We are married as man and wife. Why are you allowing our union to pass through this tension? Because of nonsense. Victor. Victor. So you call this nonsense? Victor sleeping with our own daughter. You call nonsense? Why are you allowing this to escalate, my dear? Why? Why? Please. Maybe. You are the one that caused what happened unconsciously. Yes. Because you are the one that allowed her to be wearing all these provocative things around this house. Not as not that if I I, I did anything, but it is very clear that she has been the one who has been planning to seduce me. And you know it was Victor, stop it! You know I know you too well, Victor. You know I know that it will be very difficult for you, Victor, to resist that girl. But I resisted her. Of course I did. God. Why are you doing this, my dear? Mm. Please. Leave me.
You slept here. What did I tell you? Listen to me. Listen to me. Locate whoever you are ready to do this video. I Speak up. If I should come back here and I meet you standing here, I'm going to see you alive. Now, if you know what is good for you, stay out of this tree. Sister, she will come. No verse for me now, nah, beg. Eh? Anyways, I'm going to the house. Eh? Where, where, Mara, where you want to go? Eh? I'm going to the house. Mara, no try. Eh? No try this, we won't try. Make I give you information. You see police, you see army. Anything false, they are our house now. They wait for you. They don't say you will come today. If you come, they will catch you. Eh? No, don't try, don't try, no try. Wait that, please. What I will advise you now, eh? If in the next street now you go to sleep, go there go to sleep. It's okay. You know what? Just help me call Alex. Just help me. I need to speak to my brother. That's cool. Wait, 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 that, that one. That one no one use eye or ear. Yes, say you die around the SF. You no one know where you did now. Hmm? Or if in SF, you know no to do. Find money. Find how to travel. Come on for this place. Your papa and mama, de I'm sorry, don't push you for house. Your mother and mama, okay? they then catch you. They go arrest you. I don't tell you my own. No. Hmm? As friend, where you will be. You understand? Okay, come, come. Um, Jack, can you help me go and call Alex? <laughs> go and call my brother. I need to speak with my brother, please. Wait, oh, I, 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 cool down, madam. I never give you a bunch of finish. That one. That one is eyes. Yeah, hear yeah, you or see yourself, you dare and we need to talk about you. Alex one no. They don't disown you. Those people are not telling Fine, far, go far, no near that place. And they beg you as friend with me, I'll be with you. You understand? I know on that relationship I like our I beg. Eh? You know say they give me food without our day house, but I miss you everywhere alone. But no near that house now, as I tell you. You understand? Make a go my go and send me. Why don't Alex? You didn't give me feedback on the message I sent you. Okay, message. I don't give up, I don't give up. At where? And she just called me, I give her and she just go. Wow, that's good. 
And she said what? She no matter me anything though. She no man just tell me anything, just let the money go like that. That investment, I make my no reply to you back. Invest me where? You gave my sister the money I gave you, and she didn't send a feedback to me. Nothing, no, she not tell me anything. Invest me where? That's invest me, bros. Big up, small guy. Now invest me where? That's invest me. Now. Where's the money? Oga. Ah. Ah. Oga. As I give her the money, she go now. Kule, huh? don't invest me. Please. I know my sister. She cannot just come and take the money without giving a word for me. Where do you keep that money? Oh. 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 Go and get that money for me. And what will tell you, if 1,000 miss from that money, I'll deal with you. Oh. Be fast! Okay. Well, I've been I know she must be suffering anywhere she is now. <laughs> hey, calm down. I'm not here to hurt you. Don't panic. I mean, it's late and you're the only one here. It's not safe. Okay, I just want to give you a ride to a safe place. Okay? My name is Martins. You know what? Let me give you this. I'm sure, you must be freaking cold. Like I said, I just want to help you. Yeah. Yeah. I told you, I'm a friend. Trust me. Yeah. You're cold. Let me give you this. It'll keep you warm. Let me just give you a ride. Alright? Okay? So when I tried to explain to my foster mother, she refused to give me a listening ear. Rather, she accused me of having an affair with my dad. She sent me out of the house with nothing. And my school will resume 48 days from today. My dad sworn never to pay my tuition fees unless I have an affair with him. What have your family members or your family friends? We hardly go to the village. My parents' relatives that lived here in Pentagora City will never accept me in their home once my parents are not notified. This is very happy too. So heartbroken. Why will your family treat you this bad? after raising you from infancy. Why? Look, this is no time to blame my parents. Sis, please get her something to eat.
Thank you. Nene, it's very uncommon and honorable to see a lady of your age and expose you as still a virgin. You are a true African woman, full of decency. I wish I had a bit of those qualities. You know, from the very moment you spoke your name, I knew you were beautiful. Yeah. Inside and out. Jeez. You are welcome. You will live with us as a family. Okay? Nene. Nene. Oh, um, I'm, I'm sorry. Um, good morning. Martins, good morning. Like your mind has been here all this while we've been talking. Oh, yeah. She's in a pensive mood. Look, Nene, I don't want you to worry about where you stay, where you wear, where you eat, who you associate yourself with, or who you call family. Because from today, my sister and I are your family. Yes. Is that okay? Okay, thank don't you. Don't worry, okay? You will live with us as a family. Don't worry. <sighs> Shirt back. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, okay. um, I don't know what I don't know if I should hug you. Oh, no, okay, so I'll just go change and get you. <laughs> Show to his ideal woman the way she understands 
There's enough for me. I want you to marry me. Just as a mother knows, a child. So my love for you is through thick and thin. I'm glad I choose you. Always remember that. It was a big performance yesterday. Break your leg, darling. Thank you. But, Ruby, you see, um, I'm not still convinced it's vital for me to go to my parents' house. They bluntly rejected me. It will be heartbroken if I'm chased out of the house again. Baby, listen. You don't have to worry. Stay here now, okay? But I insist we still continue with the visit. All right? Ruby, tell her the surprise. Oh. I'm pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations. Oh. Congratulations. So is the lucky guy, your fiancé? ta -da. Your institution fee has been paid for. You were successful. Oh, you didn't have to. <laughs> you didn't have to, darling, okay? So you, baby. Take it. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Yeah. You're welcome. Thank you. You love me, baby. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. I love you. Thanks for giving me hope again. Don't worry. I love you. Love you too. Let's go. Wow. <laughs> Thank you. No problem. Thank you. No problem, darling. No problem. You're welcome. You're welcome. Thank you. And um, so should I? Should I just? Keep this up. Yeah, okay. you can keep it. It's yours. You can. Maybe, maybe I should just leave it with you when I come back out. Oh, okay. I'll, it very well. I'll keep it for you. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome, darling. Okay. Wow. Young man, I've heard you. And I think I know where you are going. 